Kindle that bigness of that being within, the bigness of who we are, not just as chiropractors, not just as servants and practices, but who we are able to ignite the flame of people in your practices. When there's chaos around in my life, I've been doing this 22 years now in chiropractic, and when there's chaos around, it's easy to focus on the waves of chaos. What settles me is when I look for the lighthouse to guide you in the chaos. My challenge to you is to look at these systems in your practice. Make a difference with how effective and efficient you work as a human system to make a difference and change your community. Practice in between your performance because that's what's going to create the mastery. Do one thing and add one thing at a time. All right, don't look at the whole totality, it's too much. Add one thing at a time to move yourself forward. You have to measure your words. Don't overstate what we do. Just state clearly what it is that we're doing with as much passion and love for the profession. We need one another. You don't have to do it alone. You know, you probably need a lot of support from other people to stay fierce. You know, and let that be the strongest voice at the table. You are in charge of you. Reiterate, start now, wherever you are find your mentors. I hope this weekend you can take a lot of things home to continue to perpetuate that idea of chiropractic and bring chiropractic to the masses. When the intelligence is expressed as health and function, that's the completion of the create, what was created. The creation is meaningless without the expression in the world, the action. No other professions had put together uh, the mental aspect. Back in Hippocrates, we had the abstract, and then we had what was done physically. And philosophy of chiropractic in this book is the completeness of health, and no other professions had done that before. We have instincts, we have thoughts that we try to assign to our innates, but in fact, do our innates talk? What we sometimes forget, we talk about innate and educated about what we need to remember, is it's all, it's all under the auspices of universal. Communicate, communicate from your heart, your truth, and then be consistent and just care for them with love, unconditional love. Let's do what we can to be a servant, to serve others, to focus on others' needs, to, put, to have our, our number one values, to put others' needs above ours. You have the responsibility to tell the truth. You have the responsibility to be not fearful because people depend on you. I hope that you learned something. I hope that we challenged you. But more importantly, none of that matters unless you lean into those challenges and you can effectively make change beginning. I'm on stage as a result of sitting in that chair many times, of being inspired of being called up to a higher level, of being stretched beyond because of many of the people in this room. I hope you know that when you become a chiropractor, that you become one of those few who understands vitalism, which means that it is your task and your responsibility to take this as far and as fast as you can into your communities. I'm gonna ask you to please come together respectfully, Love each other and don't be haters. And it's okay, we're gonna have a few haters, but if the majority of us, 70, 80% of us, stick together and do this thing on a high level and just become one, we need to become one to take over healthcare. Every single day, we have to wake up with this love and affinity for chiropractic. We can't ever take this passive back seat and expect for not only our practice to succeed, but us to be happy and have that fulfillment in life. The secret to success, one of the secrets, is this. Don't focus on what you don't have. Losers complain about what they don't have. Winners go, what do I have and how can I accentuate this? Your why may just match other people's why and as a result, you may synchronize. You may be like the metronome and you will be attracted to that resonance. Take care of yourself. Let others take care of you. Accept their compliments. 
and find mutual relationships where you don't feel like you need to take on someone else's stuff. We have the same ethical and moral obligation. We have an ethical and moral obligation as a profession to understand the epidemiology of vertebral subluxation and know which procedures and which inter interventions and which techniques are going to get the best results, the quickest re results, at the least cost. That's an ethical and moral obligation. We have a responsibility to become mature, to become clear being, to become responsible being, and to grow the art of chiropractic to the degree that such adjustments can still be brought forth. I am willing to put my life on the line for these principles. And I'm asking that you find the fortitude within yourself to please do the same. Because it is that precious. I worked all year because I want you to hear this so you can make a difference where you live. And you can do it with other people. That's the reason why I'm doing this. If we sit on the sidelines, we're going to get into a model of sick care, even worse, and prescription drugs and we're going to end up sacrificing the gift of our profession. What you choose to do for other people will live on for eternity, just like the great men and women that I showed you today. And all of you are destined to be one of them. Together we can change the world. Together we do change the world. And we do that a spine at a time. We stand on the shoulders of giants. What will be your legacy?